So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these and I'm going to delete all the accounts that they basically will let me delete. Now I can't actually delete them, which is kind of annoying, even though there's no activity in it, but I can make them inactive. So I'm going to go through all the accounts that they're going to allow me to make inactive and make them inactive. So cash, I'll keep the cash account because maybe this is a bank type of account and maybe I'll use that as, as a checking account. The accounts receivable, I don't think they're gonna let us delete the accounts receivable because it has a sub ledger. You might not use it, but we have it there and it is what it is. It shouldn't bother us too much. Inventory, we're gonna use inventory. So I'll keep uh, the inventory account. Now note, it's kind of strange that they have an inventory and an inventory asset account. What I kind of like to do, I don't want two of these because these seem somewhat redundant. I'd like to see which of these two accounts is the one that they default to when, whenever I set up like an item or something like that. To do that, I'm gonna right click on the tab up top and duplicate, and I'm gonna pull this to the left. And then I'm gonna go down to, let's go down to the sales area. And then I'm gonna go into my products and services. And by the way, if you're in, if you're in the other view, that would be the sales areas in the get paid and pay area. And then it would be get paid area and products and services. So that's where I'm located. And so if I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna add a product, I won't actually add it, but I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna add an inventory item and I'm gonna say, okay, which account do they default to? They default to inventory asset account as opposed to that other inventory account. Why do they have two of them? I don't know. So I'm going to say, let's use that inventory asset account as my default. And I'm going to make the other one inactive. So I'm going to say, let's make this inactive because they won't let me delete it. Are you sure you want to? I'm going to say yes. So that one has been made inactive. And then loans to others. I'm going to try to make all of this inactive. I'm going to say, make it inactive. And I'll just build these as we go. Uh, payments to deposit. That's kind of like the undeposited funds account. I don't think they'll allow us to make that inactive and it might be a useful account uh, if in some cases, so we might dive into that a little bit later. Prepaid expenses, I'm gonna make it inactive, make it inactive. And then uncategorized assets, that's like their dumping ground account. If, if there's a transaction that was entered that they don't know where to put it. Uh, and it's an asset account. So I don't think they're gonna let us make that inactive. I'm gonna make all these these inactive for the fixed assets. Building's somewhat standard, but if I don't have a building, I'm gonna make it inactive. I'll add the, I'll add the assets when I get them land. I'll make it inactive. And then we've got the uncategorized long-term. I think I gotta make all the sub accounts inactive and then I can make the long-term office equipment. Notice the way they set up their fixed assets is really, I don't think in alignment with what, what you might do if you're working with say a tax preparer and trying to use tax software. So, so when you get to your fixed assets, you might want to talk to your accountant to see how they're going to be doing the, the sub ledgers so that you can have your fixed assets tie out to what they're doing on um, the sub ledgers to calculate the depreciation. So that's one area where I would deviate from my normal strategy of using their accounts uh, as, the, as the default, right? I, I would possibly change those right up front. Whereas the expense accounts, I would use their accounts basically as the default. So I'm just gonna go through here and make all these inactive that I can. They have a massive amount of, of accounts down here in the fixed assets for some odd reason. Gonna make it inactive. And then we've got the tools, long-term office equipment. I'll make that inactive. Okay, doke. And then we've got the tools, machinery. Let's make that inactive. And then vehicles. I'll make that inactive. I'll set them up myself when I, when I get to, to those items. I don't think I can make accounts payable unactive. And so I'll keep that one there because that has a sub-ledger that's tied to it. Customer prepayments, I'll make that inactive. That would only be necessary for certain types of businesses. Lines of credit, I'll make that inactive. You would only have that in certain situations, of course. So this massive chart of accounts that they put together here, you've got uh, short-term business loans. I'll make that inactive. When I set up a loan, I'll add a loan account. 
And then you've got the long-term business loans. I'll make that inactive. You've got your mortgages, which is a personal thing. Again, it's a business. So it's kind of a random thing to have in there for every, every type of business that they set up because they just made some massive chart of accounts for, and then sales tax payable. I'm not sure I can make that inactive because I might have sales tax. So I'll leave that one there. Federal estimated taxes. I'm going to make that inactive. Make it inactive. Opening balance equity. We can't make that inactive because that's like their dumping ground account again if they have to make something be in balance. So we might have to deal with that. We'll talk with that later. Draws. Eh, we might deal with draws. So so that might be necessary for a sole proprietorship. Well, let's make it. I'll, I'll go with my policy of making them inactive and then I'll create a draws account when we need to deal with it. And then investment not always going to be there for a business because you might put it in but i'll make it inactive we'll see we'll possibly make an investment account and show you what's up with that when we do that personal expenses uh personal expenses uh federal taxes sales tax i'm going to make these inactive make inactive make inactive i'm going to make the sub accounts inactive first and then go to the others so opening personal sale state taxes i'm going to make inactive so so these are in the equity so they did they put a ton of stuff like kind of like in the equity to try to categorize in the equity section which again is a little kind of strange it might some people might like to do it that way 